Arish Mavikasta and Chuck the Holly Cairns. I want to thank um, they'll forgive me if I don't thank them too much because I just want to use the four minutes that are left but I deeply appreciate that they've given us the opportunity and made the point that it's on the doll record. There are voices in here that care. I'm not saying you don't care, Minister, at all, but you've been captured. You've been captured by the mantra of the department and the society that was portrayed in the final report from the Commission of Investigation. And so, you, in your speech, which I listened to carefully and I read, you talked about uh, the apology given by the um, Taoiseach. Let me just say what the Human Rights, the Irish Centre for the Human Rights and Equality Commission and the UN have said about apologies. That at the most basic, public apologies have been placed on statutory footing in other jurisdictions. The motivations for public apologies are generally both backward and forward looking, acknowledging past harms, but also signaling a better future. The backward looking elements include the taking of responsibility for past human rights violations, the honest acknowledgement of what occurred and naming the wrongness of those harms. And of course, the forward looking part, which is really missing, is the image of a redeemed individual or nation, the beginning of a new era and break from past cultures of violence but also signal the social and political transformation required to ensure that such atrocities will never be repeated. Now I would ask you to look at that and see where your scheme fits into that because to me it's certainly not fitting into it. It's piecemeal and you're doing a certain amount but going no further. And so if we look at this motion today and there are nine asks and again they're written out, they're the most basic asks. One of them that we rely on the Oak consultation that was set up and what they found. And one of the findings there was that the losing of your child or the losing of the bond with your child was the most traumatic. Now, come forward where you've excluded the babies under six months. And I'd like to ask you now on reflection, what is your opinion now on that? On what is it based? Because something in your interview on RTE, you said it was the best approach. Based on what? Now, I don't mean to be flippant. But I might as well sort of say to myself, why did I speak six months of my life with two children breastfeeding and minding and up all night if it didn't matter? And I say that with the greatest of respect to men and women. What was the point of me investing all of that love, which I regard as my, as my duty as a mother, when, not, when it's all unnecessary? The child is a tabula rasa at, six at naught and it's tabula rasa six months later and the harm only starts after that. The trauma experts have written to you. The cross-party committee has asked you to remove it. The Irish Human Rights and Equality Commission has asked you to remove it. The UN has serious difficulties with it. And so I look to see then what transformative action and I realise no, what's happened here again is just figures. And so your interdepartmental group told us 24,140 people spent less than six months. That's their figure. So clearly you're excluding them deliberately. You, you, you're the representative now. I don't mean to personalise this at all. I wish we could sit and say, let's do this right. This is a golden opportunity. Black and white, just exclude them. Exclude those boarded out. Exclusion in terms of systematic racism that is being brought to our attention repeatedly by people who suffered systematic racism and by the UN. And on we go. And still we bring here, you're coming forward next week. And a prepared script again and putting it in perspective. You know what you did? You congratulated yourself that it was much better than what the Commission recommended. You went further than the Commission in terms of extension and time and all the time not recognising that as the, their conclusions, I paid tribute to the body of the work, their conclusions are absolutely without foundation. You've admitted this, you've admitted this difficulty with that and yet you're praising yourself and basing your scheme on an extension of what that faulty report in their conclusions and recommendations. I mean any Commission that would describe as testimony from survivors as contaminated begs serious questions about what was going on or to tell us that their report wasn't in accordance with the narrative, not telling us what that narrative was because I grew up with the narrative, I know what the narrative was, they knew best. The institutions knew best, the priests knew best, the judges knew best, that, that was the narrative and that commission has perpetuated that narrative. I thank the Social Democrats. I really would hope, but I don't think so, that this would be a change, a momentous change, a way of saying enough is enough in our era. I just thought God is not Ella at the bunny here, at the day now. I'm not talking about Thank you, Deputy Connolly.